Okay, so we're doing question four. Consider the set S. It's got four vectors that each in R4. The question is, does S generate R4? If it does, explain why. If it does not, give the Cartesian equation describing this as basic generates. So we're just going to have to Gauss reduce the linear combination of these equal to x, y, z, w, and see what happens. Okay, so it's 1, 0, 1, minus 2. 1, 0, 1, minus 2. And then it's 0, 1, minus 1, 0. Then it's 3, 1, 3, minus 3. And 2, minus 1, 4, minus 1. Let's just check that. 1, 0, 1, minus 2. 1, 0, 1, minus 2. 0, 1, minus 1, 0. 0, 1, minus 1, 0. 3, 1, 3, minus 3. 3, 1, 3, minus 3. 2, minus 1, 4, minus 1. 2, minus 1, 4, minus 1. Yes. Okay, so we want to take a linear combination of these. We want to look at all the linear combinations of these. And they're equal to sum x, y, z, w, and r4. Okay, um, oh, this is question 4.1, right? So this, of course, can be converted into a matrix equation. 1, 0, 1, minus 2, 0, 1, minus 1, 0, 3, 1, 3, minus 3, 2, minus 1, 4, minus 1, times by A, B, C, D, equals X, Y, Z, W. So let's go row 3 minus row 1, and row 4 plus 2 times row 1, okay? So we'll get, first row is the staying the same, second row is staying the same, third row becomes 0, minus 1, 3 minus 3 is 0, 4 minus 2 is 2, then minus 2, 0, 0, minus 3 plus 6 is 3, minus 1, plus 4 is 3, okay, A, B, C, D equals, first row is the same, second row is the same, third row is Z minus X, fourth row is W minus 2X, okay, um, now we can do Let me do, yes, we can do row 3 plus row 2. In fact, actually, no, let me rather do row 2 plus row 3, right? And then make a swap after that. I think that'll be more convenient, yes. Uh, maybe should I divide row 3 now by 3? Yes, I think I will do that. Divide, I mean, row 4 by 3, divide row 4 by 3. Actually, let's rather say put it as times row 4 by a third. Okay, so we're going to get the same, first row is the same, 1, 0, 3, 2. Second row is now 0, 0, 1, 1. Ah, that's good. Um, third row is 0, staying the same, 0, 2. The fourth row is 0, 0, let me just leave it as 3, 3, because that's going to match that other row. Let me leave that like that. Okay. A, B, C, D. So I can see that the, the, the fourth row is a multiple of the second row. Uh, the third row stayed the same. I decided to leave it the same. The second row stayed the same. The third, second row, the third row stayed the same. Sorry, the second row became row 2 plus row 3, so it's going to be... It's going to be, um, oops, add those rows together, you have Z plus Y minus X, X is still there. Now we can finish off by going row 4 minus 3 times row 2, okay? So we do that, 
we're going to get 0 in that fourth row, and the right-hand side will be w minus 2x minus 3z minus 3y plus 3x. That's equal 0 because we have a row of zeros there. Now, uh, let's simplify this. So we've got 3x minus 2x. That's, that's x. We have minus 3y minus 3z plus w. Okay, that equals 0. So this means it's not going to be all of our, all of our, all of, all of our R4, right? It's just going to be the subspace in which things of that is true. What is the actual question? Give the Cartesian equation described in subspace it generates. So there we have. Okay. What was the set called? The set was called S, right? Okay, so what we're saying is that the set generated by S, it's all those vectors in R4 such that, uh, let me change it, x1 minus 3x2 minus 3x3 plus x4 equals 0. Okay. Just so that it was easier and more obvious to write, write it with x, with numbered x's now. Uh, is that all? Maybe some logical structure to this? So that first line is true if and only if that second line is true, if and only if, if and only if, if and only if, if and only if. Okay. I don't see that. Tell us what the, the span of S is. Okay. Oh, and I suppose we should just point out that that's, that's not equal to R4 to fully answer the question. Okay. Um, 4.2. Can at least one of the elements of... Oh, we should check that this is actually right. We can check it by checking that all the vectors satisfy that equation. So the vectors were... What was the equation? Mm, the equation was x... x was like... It was like 1, minus 3, minus 3, 1. So it was like x minus 3y. It was x minus 3y minus 3z plus w equals 0. Do all the vectors satisfy this? So 1, 0, 1, minus 2. That would give you 1, 0, minus 3, minus 2. Oh, plus 3, q. Yes, that's right. No? 1, 0, 1, minus 2. Wait a second. It's going to give us 1, minus 3, minus 2. No, that's not right. We must have made a mistake somewhere. Let's see. We did row 4 minus... In the last step, we did row 4 minus 3 times row 2. So we're going to have w minus 2x. We have minus 3z, minus 3y, plus 3x. And then that comes out to 3x minus 2x is x, minus 3y, minus 3z, plus w. That's fine. Um, let's look at the previous step. We did row 2 plus row 3, so row 2 changed. So you added row 3 to row 2. So we got the z minus x plus y, yes. And we got 0, 1, minus 1 plus 2 is 1, yes. Oh, that's fine. Previous step, we did row 4 plus 2 times row 1. So that gave us a... 0, 0, a minus 3 plus 6, which is 3, and a minus 1 plus 4, which is 3. And it gave us, ah, uh, not minus 2x, plus 2x. There we go, there's a mistake. Okay, so plus 2x, so plus 2x. So we end up with 5x over here, right? Okay, so we end up with, here is not x1, it's 5x1. Okay, so this equation, the plane is actually this. Let's check this. So first vector is 1, 0, 1, minus 2. So you get 5, 0, minus 3, minus 2. Yes, that's, that's, that's 0. Next one is 0, minus 3, plus 3. Yes, that's 0. Next one is 15, minus 3, minus 9, minus 3. Yes, that's 0. And finally we have 10, plus 6, minus 12, minus 1. 
Huh? No. Ten. Ten plus three minus twelve minus one. Yes, that's zero. Okay, cool. So the vector satisfied that, that equation of that plane. So this is our answer is correct. The next question, four point two. Can at least one of the elements of S be expressed as a linear combination of others? If one can be expressed as they do so, none can explain why. So the answer is definitely yes, because it's a it's got four vectors in it, but it only makes a three-dimensional subspace of the four-dimensional R4. To do the expression, we need to go and do some Gauss reduction, right? Or we could expect, or we could use, use, use our Gauss reduction that, we, that we've already done. So we got up to to uh, here. Let's, yeah, let's put down where we got up to. So, noting 4.2. So, so from 4.1, how am I going to write this? From 4.1, basically, if you have a linear, the linear combination, right? Plus B times 0, 1, minus 1, 0, plus C times 3, 1, 3, minus 3, plus D times... 2 minus 1, 4 minus 1, now saying that equal to 0, and then, you know, we do some, oh, it becomes a, it becomes a, a, a matrix equation, like before, but we're now with zeros on the right, and then we do this Gauss reduction, and we end up here with, what? Um, 1, 0, 3, 2 at the top. One, oh. 1, 0, 3, 2. And it's times by A, B, C, D as usual. And there'll be a zero there. One, zero, three, two at the top, and then zero, zero, one, one. Zero, zero, one, one. And then zero minus one, zero, two. Zero minus one, zero, two. And then we were about to get rid of that that third row. Become that third row was gonna become the zeros. So we can just do that already. Okay, so this this is like this because we did four point one. Okay, uh, now we should continue, finish with the Gauss reduction. Um, so what can we do? We've got a pivot, pivot there, pivot there. Okay, let's start with row one minus three times row two. Okay, that's going to get us one zero. 0, minus 1. And then we're still going to have the... Just do a swap as well. Let's swap row... Let's swap row 2 and row 3. So we're going to have 0... Oh, and let's also at the same time, let's times row 3 by a negative. Okay. 0, minus 2. 0, 0, 1, 1. 0, 0, 0, 0. Okay, that, that's got to reduce actually. Okay. Um, this is a bit unclear, let me say, we have that, and then from 4.1, so this is the same as this, even like this, and that is from 4.1, so let's take away that, and let's write these in a better place, so row 1 minus 3 times row 2 should be, can be there, um, we went did minus row 3, and we swapped row 2 and row 3. Okay, those are the things we did. Um, let me rather... Do you know what? It's a bit confusing. Let me rather put the, the, the fact that we used a minus row 3 and put it there. Let me put it like this, actually. We, we did a swap. Okay. Um, what's next? Ah, we have this thing now, so we can write down the solutions for a, what A, B, C, and D are. Uh, we don't actually care. We wanted to write one of the vectors in combination to others, so now we should let, if we let D equal minus 1, then that will allow us to take that vector to the other side. So, let's just do this. So if D equals minus 1, then that vector, that last vector comes to the other side. It's 2 minus 1, 4. 2 minus 1, 4 minus 1. Okay. And the things that, uh, so d is, d is minus 1. Now if d is minus 1, that gives you, that makes abc be the 
a, b, c b minus 1, minus 2, 1. Yes. So we're going to have minus whatever the first vector is, minus 2 times whatever the second vector is, plus 1 times whatever the third vector is, and one of those three vectors. 1, 0, 1, minus 2, 1, 0, 1, minus 2, what, 0, 1, minus 1, 0, 0, 1, minus 1, 0, 3, 1, 3, minus 3, 3, 1, 3, minus 3. Now, is this, does this actually work? So we calculate the right-hand side. We have minus 1 plus 3. Yes, that's 2. We have minus 2 plus 1. Yes, that's minus 1. We have minus 1 plus 2 plus 3. Yes, that's 4. We have minus 2. No, we have plus 2 minus 3. Yes, that's minus 1. Cool. It all works out. Correct. And just put some logical stuff in here. Just to add this in there, those lines are equivalent, and then these lines aren't equivalent, but that, that second last line doesn't apply the last line. Which you know it, which you checked is true anyway. Okay, so is that it for this question? Yes.